News 19 is your local election headquarters and voting groups are helping some voters fill out absentee ballots. All this comes after an appeals court reaffirmed a decision made in a lawsuit between voting rights groups and the state of Alabama. News 19 state capital reporter Ryan Hall with that story for us tonight. Several voting rights organizations sued Attorney General Steve Marshall and others over a law outlawing ballot harvesting. Groups like the League of Women Voters and the NAACP say it infringes on voting rights. Judge David Proctor ruled that it partially violates the Voting Rights Act. We were not willing to put them at risk of being prosecuted and possibly, you know, put into Alabama's prison system um, because of trying to help someone vote absentee with an absentee ballot. If you give or receive a gift for that help, it could mean a Class C felony under the law. Kathy Jones with the League of Women Voters says this is why they weren't able to help blind, illiterate, or disabled voters. They want to make their voices heard. A lot of times, though, when you when you meet them, they their eyesight's not as good. They have trouble holding pens. Um, they may not may or may not have family living nearby. Judge David Proctor says in an opinion that the law places an undue burden on these voters, but Representative Mac Butler says otherwise. And these people that need help, they can still get help even without the injunction. Somebody would help them, family, friend, neighbor, somebody would help them. They just cannot be compensated for such. Senator Garland Gudger, original sponsor of the law, says election integrity is vital and hasn't hindered anyone from voting absentee. <laughs> But Jones says the state needs people who can help their neighbors. And, you know, if they're not eligible, they're not, they, you know, they should not vote. But we're seeing too many people that are registered voters who are basically, you know, need help. Jones says if you don't fill out an absentee ballot correctly, your vote won't be counted. The deadline to request an absentee ballot is October 29th. In Montgomery, Ryan Hall, News 19.